Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Vroid Studio, the stable version 1.01 that just released, and create any of the manga avatar, send it to Blender with the facial shape key, and create any of the 3D animations just by using the facial shape key and the rigs skeletons. So, start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, what you need to do is just go and download the latest version of the Vroid Studio, the version 1.01. Once you're ready, download it and install it, just need to open it. Once you open it as demo, I will just click create new and I will create a female avatar here. And wait for a while, now it is loading. Alright, once it finished loading already, now you can see this is a female avatar and here the first variable to set is the face. You can just pick a face, pick a face you want. For example, if I want to pick this, I can just click it and now it will change the face. There are so many face template at the beginning. And next, what you are going to do is just set an eyes. Just choose any of the eye style that you want to set. Alright. The next one is the eye iris. You can just set it from here. Or you can just, just change it to any of the face templates for the first type. Next one is the eyebrow. The eyebrow, you can just choose any of the eyebrow that you feel you feel good. Next is the eyelids. There are so many so many variables here where you can choose it one by one. The nose, the eyes, eyes lash, you can just choose which one you want or you just choose any of the face sets that you want her to be. Alright, the next one is the hairstyle. You can choose the hairstyle from here. Just have a click. You will, you will let your manga about how to have the hairstyle. And now you can just change, change the color of the hair. And at the same time, I can back to the face to change the iris color. The iris color is here. You can just ch change the color of the eye iris. It's up to you to change it to any of the colors. Alright, next. The lips. You can give her a lips because of she's a female avatar. The lipstick. Alright, next. Next, you can adjust the body. The body, the body shape, you have so many variables that allow you to change the body shape. And the next one is the outfit. Give her an outfit. Just click any of the outfit that you want her to change. Of course, you can just change it individually. All of the outfits are here can change anytime just to have a click. You have many choices. You can choose the shoes as well if you want to change you want her to change the shoes. Alright. Once you feel okay already, you can give her an accessory if needed. And finally you can just click here to save as alright as demo I will just save on my desktop. I right click create a new folder here I will just name her as female okay. Vroid female 01 I will save inside this folder Vroid female 01 the file extension is Vroid okay, click save now you can have a check next time you can open it again 
right now it is on my desktop this is the file the feed the Vroid female 01.vroid right now in order to import into the blender we need to export it as VRM first click here and choose export as VRM wait for a while at this moment it is loading the exporter just wait for a while now the exporter is pop out here this is a T post next you can click export here the title you can just put a this is just a demo so I just put a and click export I will export on my desktop Vroid female 01 folder I will name this VRM as Vroid female 01 now click export already now it is exporting now once finished exporting you can close it next time when you want to open again just open your Vroid the Vroid Studio 1.01 to open your avatar you can just click here or just click click open and just open from that folder open the Vroid file to edit it and modify it so for this time what we need is the BRM file to import into the blender alright in order to import into the blender you can just go and download my download the blender 2.90 with VRM importer this this is the one that I already ready for you set for you once you download it already it is a zip file you can go to the video description just download from there first you download the blender the zip file after that you have to extract it so that you can open the blender inside there next Download the VRM add-on for Blender and also the Cats Blender plugin. These two, after you download it, they are zip file. Do not, do not extract it. Just maintain it as zip file. Next, you open the Blender that I given to you. And next, what you are going to do is just click the, the Edit Preferences. From here, you just need to click install as demo I put it on my desktop you need to install the cats blender plugin double click the zip file from here next you click install again install the, the VRM add-on for blender double click like that you already install these two plugin next you are going to search it here you search cats and make sure the cats blender plugin you take it make sure you take it to activate it and at the same time you also need to search for VRM this is the import export the VRM format you must make sure you take it next you can close it now you already can import the, the VRM file what you are going to do is the first step just select all of this delete the cube delete the camera and also delete the light press delete button next you press end button on your keyboard you press N then you should be able to see the cats plugin is here click the triple line to import the VRM from my desktop Vroid female 01 folder the Vroid female 01 dot VRM file it is set there just double click it it will import into the blender this is the first step in the blender and next here click the wrench and deselect everything only left the fixed material this is very important fix the material take it and click OK now what you are going to do is click fix model and wait for a while wait for a few seconds now the model is under fixing just wait for a while now you can see all of the texture all of the materials are finished loading and it automatically switch to the viewport shading here alright now it's it's your time to save as a backup you can click file save as as demo I will just save inside the folder name it as Vroid female 01 
this is a blender blender file this is a backup next you also can export you click export continue to export as fbx file it already in the same folder here the path mode you choose copy and here you take it export the fbx file all right the fbx file that already stored inside there can be used anytime you can import it back to any of the blender versions anytime and use it anytime all right you can see this is the fbx file with full facial facial shape keys and also full skeletons now i'm going to close this and at this moment i will show you how to create the animations right here the first is the facial expression shape key you click the face and then all right you click the face then you click here to find the facial shape key the facial shape key is at here and you can see to create the 3d animation of the facial shape key as, as the facial expression shape key you can just start from the frame one and you can drag the neutral to one and then you right click and insert the keyframe then after one seconds you may want to insert the same keyframe again next you play again at this moment after after less than one second you want this avatar to back to the original facial and just be angry next play again wait just now the angry shape key here you right click and insert the keyframe so here again you right click insert the keyframe and after that we don't want her to angry anymore and just change it to have fun now after have fun you right click here insert the keyframe that's all now we can just have a look now we back back to the origins play now it is set face and after that become happy face right now you already have the facial expression animations this is how are we going to create that the facial expression animations next is the is the body animations what you need to do is click the skeletons and here you change it to post mode once you change it to post mode you have to reset to the to the frame one and here you can just bend it a little bit to create a certain keyframe insert the keyframe all right after after a few seconds you can just change this just back a little bit play all right now the keyframe is not insert yet it's not inserted so back to the first frame what you you have to do is from the t post you click record if you don't record it it won't insert the keyframe you just record it you move a little bit it will insert the keyframe here also the same next after one second the left hand come down then after one more second the right hand also come down all right so we can just have a test play one second two seconds now just by adjusting the bones here you can create certain keyframe and also the facial expressions animations you already did it just now all right that is the way how are we going to use the vroid studio the latest version 1.0.1 to create any of the facial exp expression and the body animations in blender how to export the vroid studio manga avatar 
and import into the Blender to create any of your facial animations, your 3D animation, to create your own video, to create your own movie. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next, next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing. See you!